Well, NASA's been looking down at the oceans from space for about the last 23 years. And when we do, we see that sea levels are rising rapidly, much more rapidly than that, much more rapidly than they have any time in the last several thousand years. We've seen about seven centimeters of sea level rise since 1992 or 93. Uh, now that doesn't sound like very much, it's about three inches, but in fact it's spread over two-thirds of the surface of the planet. There has been an acceleration in the rate of global sea level rise, definitely since the late 1800s. Um, at about 1900, sea level was rising at a rate of one millimeter per year. Uh, by the middle of the 1900s, it was about uh, two millimeters per year, and the modern day rate is three millimeters per year. We expect it to continue. As the planet heats up, the oceans are going to respond, uh, and the ice sheets and glaciers, which melt and contribute to sea level rise, are also uh, responding to the warming climate. We live in a society that loves the ocean. We love the beaches. Uh, we put a lot of infrastructure there. Uh, there's a lot of people who live in low-lying areas, uh, places like Florida and the United States, uh, Louisiana. Um, and then across the world, there are uh, hundreds of millions of people who live in low-lying areas that will be threatened by sea level rise in the coming century. We have to begin to prepare for sea level rise. A certain amount is inevitable, but we would also be well posed to try and stave off the worst of the sea level rise um, by uh, mitigating our impact on the climate, by trying to reduce the amount of warming we cause and the amount of CO2 we release.